Hi there guys, it's Chris C with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're gonna go through the best book writing software for authors out there. Now I've tried to keep this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute top five best tools that you need. So whatever you're looking for, there'll definitely be something in this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you wanna be updated with new videos. All right, I'm gonna skip the fluff talk here as usual and just jump right in to my top recommendations. And if you wanna confirm what these are, click in the description below there and check out my list. Now I'm gonna start with my favorite uh, tool and my favorite word processor, and this is gonna go to Scrivener. Scrivener is the premier book writing app made for writers, made by writers, I should say, for writers. Scrivener's binder view allows you to break up your book into chapters and sections and easily reorganize it with a drag and drop interface. You can also get a high level view of your book using the corkboard and outliner modes, allowing you to view book chapters, sections, and individual scenes as index cards. Uh, the project targets let you create word count goals and then track your progress daily as well. And its composition mode can help you stay focused by removing all other clutter. Now, some of my favorite features uh, or the pros I would say are easily manage a large book writing project or screenplay in this binder view that it offers. You can get a high level view of your book structure using that cork board and outline of views. You can manage your writing productivity and targets and deadlines. There's also an iPhone and iPad app as well. And if I was gonna outline some of the cons, I would say maybe the learning curve is a bit hard comparing to other word processors. Um, there's no Android app and formatting can be a bit complicated, but it's something that you can get used to uh, quite quickly. Now, staying on word processing, my next option is gonna be my recommendation. For those of you who are on a budget but want a decent word processor, and it's gonna go to simply Google Docs. Now, while Scrivener is my favorite book writing software, uh, Google Docs is a great go-to. Uh, it's free, it's easy to use, and requires no backup since everything is in the cloud. Uh, best of all, it has collaboration abilities which allows you to invite your editor to your document and then you can see the changes they make or the changes they request to make. You can set up position, um, permissions for that as well. Uh, it also integrates with other free tools like Grammarly, so you can keep your grammar in check as well. Um, but obviously the layout of Google Docs is gonna be very simple, so you're not gonna have that high level overview um, of your work. So the pros though, real-time collaboration with editors, that's really great. It has suggestion mode and it's free. Uh, the cons, I would say, no large document organization features, as I said, no productivity features. Um, yeah, so it doesn't have any of the bells and whistles. This is your basic go-to free processor. Now, the next one on my list is another option if Scrivener is not your cup of tea, and this is gonna go to Dabble. So Dabble is a word processor that gives you the power to organize and rearrange scenes and chapters using drag and drop, and manage your word count goals as well in order to keep a deadline. Dabble has a plot grid that allows you to easily see a macro or high level view of your story as well, and you can rearrange as needed, find plot holes easily that way, and make notes on each plot point as detailed as you like. Uh, it's easy to set up your word count goals and see your daily and overall progress in the manuscript settings. You can even set days off and it will take those days into account when calculating your daily word count goals. Collaboration is also easy. You can add a co-author by invitation. Uh, you can insert images, notes, title images as well. And focus mode in Dabble is automatic. So when you start typing, everything else fades away so you can stay focused and, you know, in the state of flow and deep work. The pros of this, it's cloud-based with automatic saves across all devices. Dictation is built in. You can add images anywhere. Exporting to Word or text is easy. You can manage your productivity as well. And you can get that high-level overview based on the layout, with its, also with its unique plotting tool, which I really liked. The cons are it's subscription-based, which means not all features are available on all the plans. There is a bit of upselling there. Lifetime access cost is quite high and the formatting can be a bit basic, but if you do wanna check it out, uh, you can have a 14 day free trial through that link in the description. Now, the next one on my list is, I guess coming in a little bit from right field and this is gonna to go to Jasper. Now, you can't deny that AI is having a big impact 
on creation, especially in written form lately. And Jasper is the market leader currently when it comes to AI. So how is AI gonna help you? Well, basically, Jasper is gonna be sort of your assistant or your second brain. If you have writer's block, you can throw a couple of commands into Jasper and it's gonna pump out a bunch of text. So rather than writing something from scratch, you might be able to get sort of a base outline from Jasper and it might give you even more than that because Jasper is actually very intuitive. It can write in different tones of voices and it can produce some pretty darn good writing. Uh, but again, you know, sometimes it's easier to get sort of an outside perspective, even though it is an AI model, and then start editing and uh, see, you know, um, what the AI can offer you. I think it can definitely um, increase your productivity, meaning you don't have to write as much and just give you more ideas as well. So I'm gonna throw Jasper into this list as well because it is the best tool if you do wanna utilize uh, AI and it's also the best tool that produces unique content and is the most plagiarism free when you run it through the checks. And the next one on my list is more of a tool than a word processor. And this is gonna to go to Publisher Rocket. And this is my recommendation for the best book marketing app. Most people, when they're writing books, they make the mistake of thinking writing is all the work. And it's actually just the beginning, actually. You write a book, most people write a book and then no one buys it. So you do need to, you know, school up on how to market. So Publisher Rocket is a book marketing research tool that helps you understand what readers actually want and how to connect with them with your books. So some of the things you can discover with Publisher Rocket is what phrases Amazon buyers are actually searching for and not just thinking, well, I think I know what everybody wants and then you spend all that time and nobody wants what you've offered. Um, actually finding out what people want first and giving it to them is a much better strategy. It also gives you the psychology of how readers choose to buy books, how much money readers are spending on certain niches and topics, and also how much money specific books are making per month. Uh, for example, books that might be competing with yours. So this is a perfect tool, especially if you're selling on Amazon. So the pros of this is you can find out how much other books in your genre make, and that's gonna set you up perfectly for if you have trouble wondering what to price your books at. You can get metrics on how to become a number one bestseller. It has excellent learning resources and support. It is limited to book marketing, but I assume that the people uh, watching this video, uh, you are writing books, so that's really all you want. You don't want to market, you know, lawnmowers or anything else. The learning curve is questionable, um, but you know, put some effort into your marketing and it's not anything most people are not gonna be able to overcome just from repeated use. And the cost, it's up there $99, but I feel like that's a fair investment. Uh, you do have to spend money uh, to make money when it comes to your marketing. And I think 100 bucks or 99 bucks uh, is pretty fair for what you get in return. All right, guys, so those are my top five best writing software for authors and aspiring authors out there. Now, if you have any questions, do drop them in the comments. And if you found value in this video, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.